What's up everyone, Takes Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing something that my girlfriend gave me for my 25th birthday this year. And it's something that I forgot to unbox on the channel. So we're going to be doing that today. And that is the Nintendo Switch. I've always been a PlayStation guy and I've talked about this on the channel that I've always been a PlayStation guy. But I've always had a love for Nintendo. Now, back whenever this was released, it wasn't really on my radar. I'm the type of gamer that's... I like getting my games on sale, and for the most part, Nintendo doesn't have that great of sales. Most of their games, even a couple years after they've already been released, they're still at full price. And over here in Canada, a regular game is around $80 brand new. There's not too many sales on Nintendo, or if it is, it's games that we already purchased whenever they were full price, and it wasn't even that big of savings anyways. But she ended up purchasing this for me for my 25th birthday because... I've wanted something that we could play. She's always loved Nintendo, and she's always grew up with Nintendo. She has the Nintendo Switch Lite, which I bought her, I think, a year ago, and she absolutely loves it. But for a long time, I've wanted something that both of us could play together. She doesn't really like Sony too much. She doesn't know the controls too well. She's always loved Nintendo. I've always had a love for Nintendo. So she ended up getting this for my 25th birthday. So we have something we can game together with which I absolutely loved. So inside the box is a whole bunch of goodies. She got it, I believe, a bundle at Costco and it came with a bunch of stuff. And since then, we've also picked up a few video games as well. So first, the actual Switch itself. It is beautiful. I absolutely love this. She went with the classic blue and red Joy-Cons for the Switch, very original. Um, I do want to get an extra pair, maybe the gray pairs of the Joy-Cons, just so if we have other people over, we can play up to four people. That'd be awesome, but the two of us can play this. My favorite thing is not only is it a home console, which is something that I'm used to, and that's usually what I game with PS4, but you can also go and take this as is and be able to play on the go. So if we travel, I can bring just this, and that is amazing. So have the choice between a handheld console versus a home console is an amazing option. I'm glad Nintendo did that because nobody else did that. PlayStation, Xbox, nobody has had a console like this where you could play at home and also play on the go. So I think that's amazing. To play at home and make it a home console, you do have this box here, which is amazing. And in the back is where you plug in your cords. So you have your AC adapter, which is just a type C that uh, Nintendo supplies. There is a USB port as well if you need to charge stuff and then you have your HDMI port as well. So all you do is you slide your Nintendo Switch right in like that and it will connect to your TV which is awesome. Now I always usually leave this plugged in because it will also, while it's connected like so, it will charge the controllers. So I always have the controllers fully charged whenever we go to play the Switch. So that's really cool. The bundle that she purchased also includes, or included this, so the Joy-Cons do come off of the uh, screen here, and it does connect onto here, so it brings it more like a home console uh, controller, kind of like the PS4, which is what I'm used to. So whenever I play by myself, I always play on this, because it's super easy to use. It also obviously comes with your safety guards if you don't have it connected to the screen, your Joy-Cons. It does have the little ends that slide in, which are easy to use. Now, I found out they can easily get jammed up if you put them on wrong, but they are super easy and super useful. It also came with a Nintendo Switch branded case, which is awesome because I do plan on not only playing the Switch at home as a home console, but I also plan on bringing it. And whenever my girlfriend has doctor's appointments or we're out or we're just going on a trip or something and we have to not have to, but we want to bring something to occupy us while we're at the hotel, we can now do that and the Switch will not get damaged. So that is amazing. The bundle also included one year, I believe it was one full year, of the Nintendo Switch online and that it was the family plan. So it not only was for my Switch, but she could also get online on her Nintendo Switch Lite which is awesome. So we have two consoles that have online, which is awesome. I think it's only $45 a year for online for the family plan, um, or it might be a little bit more for the family plan. I'm not sure. I think it's 45, 
I think just for one console, it is $25, so $45 for, I think it's up to four consoles, four different switches to connect online for one year is an amazing price compared to PlayStation and Xbox, but that'll be a lot of fun. And it also came with a $30 Nintendo gift card as well for the Nintendo store, which was awesome. So we haven't really decided what we want to purchase with that gift card, but we definitely want to see what there is on there that interests us and something that we will be able to play together. Now for the games, some of these we did have because she did have the Switch Lite, so she did have some of these games to begin with, but we ended up purchasing a few other ones whenever we did get the home console. Some games don't work on the Nintendo Lite, and that's something we found out after purchasing the Nintendo Lite originally, whenever I bought it for a year ago. First game is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This is amazing. I've been playing it a lot recently and I absolutely love Mario Kart. It reminds me so much of my childhood playing it on the DS whenever I was in uh, the 8th grade, something like that. So it was a lot of fun and this game is so much more advanced. They have so much new stuff that's, it might not be new as far as games before this one, but it's new to me as I've never played a Mario Kart game in over 10, maybe 15 years, so that's pretty iconic for me. Next is Super Mario Party. This game is absolutely a lot of fun. We absolutely love it, which is why we want to get an extra set of controllers so we can have up to four people play this game. It's a lot of fun. Now, unfortunately, even though it's a lot of fun, unfortunately, after we did purchase this game, they did announce at E3 that Nintendo was making a new Mario Party game. Kind of like Mario Kart, there is a lot of the older tracks and stuff that are in Mario Karts. They're doing that with Mario Party as well, which we did get this Mario Party game. We're loving it. In the future, maybe if the new one does come on sale, which usually never happens with Nintendo, we might buy it. But for now, we're okay with this Mario Party. And the last game is the new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. This game here is a lot of fun. I absolutely love it. I played and beat a bunch of worlds so far. I'm having a blast with this game. Now this is basically a remake from the Wii U era, and it includes New Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Luigi U. Both of those games from the Wii U basically remastered and put into one game. So it actually is two games, and it is a lot of fun. I absolutely love playing Mario. As you can tell, that's usually what I focus on whenever it comes to Nintendo, and since I've always been a PlayStation guy, and I haven't had Nintendo in years. I'm glad to finally have Nintendo to be able to play Mario games and other games once again. Now, the one thing I love about having a Nintendo Switch now is being also able to play some of my games from the NES. If you have an online subscription, you can play a bunch of games that were from the NES and the Super Nintendo Entertainment System as well. And one of my favorite games is included in that. Kirby's Adventures is a lot of fun, and I finally get to play it once again because currently I don't have an NES. I've been on the hunt for one, and also Kirby's Adventure, I've been on a hunt for that. But having the Nintendo Switch, having an online subscription, you get to play those games, and it saves your progress as well, which is also a blast, instead of having to restart every time you start the console. So that's been a lot of fun. To replay some of the classics from my childhood on the NES, playing them on the Switch, on newer graphics, and on a bigger screen is amazing. I absolutely love that. So thank you to my beautiful girlfriend, Ashley, for getting me this for my 25th birthday. I absolutely love it and have been having a blast playing the Nintendo Switch and once again reliving part of my childhood because it's been years since I've had anything Nintendo. I've only had the Nintendo Entertainment System and a Nintendo DS back in the day. This is awesome to be able to play some of those childhood memories once again. So hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I'll leave this here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.